Hi, I'm Dave Starr, Service Manager at PV Bicycle Center in Palos Verdes, California. Today we're going to talk about wheels. Over the last few years, wheels on bicycles have really changed. You're noticing that there's a lot less spokes in them, a lot higher flanges on the rims, um, tubulars are making a comeback, which is a tire that's glued onto the wheel, and now we've got tubeless where there's no inner tube in the tire whatsoever. I'd like to give some of my opinions on that. I'm a longtime wheel builder having been trained at Wheelsmith in the mid-90s and I've hand-built thousands of wheels. And we are starting to see at about a year uh, a lot of failure on wheels because people buy them, they're lightweight, they do everything that they want, but they also don't realize that it's also a racing wheel. So today we're going to kind of make a case for you if you're going to have a racing wheel possibly you need to have a set of training wheels too that you can ride day in and day out to kind of protect that multi thousand dollar investment on the other wheels. Back when I was taught how to build wheels this was a pretty standard configuration 32 spokes, uh, a nice Shimano hub, uh, a Mavic rim and a wheel like this hand built will last you at least a decade. It is easily repairable in most any shop in the United States and it's it's a great value for for its cost. Um, you know today we've gone to these high-tech wheels where we've only got you know 16, 18, 20 spokes um, and this one actually has a carbon fiber rim with an aluminum braking surface. Uh, again though a Shimano Durace hub and this one is tubeless. Now the, the upside of this wheel is the aerodynamics are fantastic, the weight is very light and with the tubeless we take even more weight out of it. The downside of it is, is if the bike hits a, a hole in the road or is involved in an accident and comes out a true, we have a lot less spokes that we can deal with to try to retrue this wheel, maintain its tension and its integrity. Where on the older wheels, where we had the 32 spoke, if something happened, we've got a lot more spokes in here that we can work the tension with or replace that they're damaged and get this, this rim back. Uh, also, with this aluminum rim, there is some chance for us, if we need to, to completely re remove the tension from the wheel and straighten the rim, retension it, and salvage it. Where a rim like this one is, if it's damaged with the carbon fiber, we're pretty much going to write this wheel off as a total. Um, you know, wheel damage can happen to any of us. All it takes is a, a fall in a criterium. Uh, just even riding with your buddies, uh, you can you can hit something in the road and damage the wheel. A lot less chance of us being able to make the repair. So that's why we we're going to advise if you have a bike with a wheel like this, go ahead and get a set of training wheels that you can run day in and day out on your bike and use these for your events, whether you're a touring cyclist and going to do that double century, or you're going to do your first crit, uh, whatever, keep these wheels for that. Uh, and another wheel that we ran into is the Mavic Arcist. Uh, as you can see again, uh, minimal amount of spokes, a carbon fiber spoke, and if we break a spoke we can replace it, but if there's any major damage to this wheel, uh, again, it's just done. Um, it's not that I don't think people should ride these wheels, it's just I think that you should have some knowledge up front that you do have a race component here. And just like anything else, it's lightweight, it needs maintenance, it, it needs a lot of care by a professional. It's not really something that you can take care of in your garage at home. Where one of the hand-built wheels, multi-spoke like we did, had in the old days, Easily anyone can be trained to, to true this. It uses standard tools that any shop would have. So that's my case for using a, um, a wheel like this. Uh, here at PV we do have experienced wheel builders. We can configure any kind of wheel up that you want with any of the major companies parts from Chris King to Shimano to DT, whatever you'd like for a hub, Mavic rims, Sun rims, Reynolds rims, we can get them all. Uh, I do like to build with wheelsmith spokes, that's a personal thing. And I also like to build with brass nipples because of the alloy nipples tend to corrode in our atmosphere here in Southern California. So if we can help you with any of those needs, we'd love to sit down with you for a while and talk wheels with you. Thanks.